the devil are you? Right. Um, so over the last couple of well, last month, I've been mowing the lawn, and I've noticed that the lawnmower isn't quite cutting the grass correctly. I've got to go over about three or four times, which makes it more of an arduous task. Okay, I haven't got much of a lawn anyway, but obviously I want the lawnmower to cut uh, as good as it can. And I think it's down to the fact that I've had the lawnmower for probably five or six years and never sharpened the blade. So I'm going to try and sharpen the blade myself, take it off, give it a sharpen and see if that helps. Now remember, I'm no expert, I'm just a bloke that does stuff, <laughs> okay? So the stuff I do, I've looked up myself on YouTube and Google and whatever to see if I can do it myself, because I prefer to do it myself anyway. So, what I'm going to do is get the blade off and then uh, try and file it down so I can uh, get it sharpened. But the problem is I don't have a vice, so I'm going to have to overcome that hurdle as well. Uh, and you can join me on my journey if you want to call it that. <laughs> anyway, come on, let's get on with it. Okay, before I remove it, I just want to get some of this crap on it. Because once I've sharpened this blade, I'm going to need to balance it a bit. Now, obviously, with all this crap on it, you're not going to be able to balance it very well. So I'm just going to give it a quick clean off with a wire brush. Now, it goes without saying, but make sure this is unplugged when you're doing it. Um, if you haven't unplugged this while you're doing it, then you're a bloody idiot. <laughs> what are you thinking of? Are you mad? Okay, that's most of the nonsense off it now. I may have, may have to do the other side. I'll, I'll check it when I kick it off. Now this is a 13 mil. Obviously some uh, bolts may be a different sizes. Um, hopefully I should have enough in this now to be able to... Wait a second. Almost forgot. Duh. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, if I didn't do this, the blade would just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got a block of wood here. I'm going to stick that in there and then I should stop it spinning around. Let me just have to get it in there. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Now, if you notice, it's going into the blade there. I haven't got something underneath it there. If you do that, you could bend the blade up. So make sure it's in there and the blade goes into it like so. Nice. Superpower plus. Well, that was quite easy. I was expecting it to be a lot harder. <laughs> so this is going actually anti-clockwise in the way of the blade. That was weird. I was expecting that to be a lot harder. There we are. Must be my super duper strength, obviously. There you go. Keep that bolt handy. Today. Okay, what's all this crap around that? Looks like someone's hair. What the hell? Ugh. Ming it. Now, I've got to make sure they put this on the right end up when it goes back on, okay? I think there's only one way you can put it there. It's got some markings there. And obviously the right is on the top. I don't want to put that end up. I'm going to clean that end off as well. So if you can see that, that's where it cuts here and here, spins that way, and this thing catches the grass and flings it into the basket, the grass catch, okay? Now, as you can see, mm, it's not very sharp at all. You don't want it too sharp, otherwise you get a lot of dings in it, or so I've read. <laughs> um, but that's literally blunt as anything. It's really nothing, quite a bit of a ding out of that. So it could do with a bit of a sharpen. So I got my file ready and I've got to prep this now and put it somewhere where I can actually get some purchase on it to file it down. Okay now the problem I got without having a vise is it'd be very easy for me to file this one okay, onto the blade like that. But actually you need to file this way. So I've got a file. So if I had a vise to stick it in a vise it'd be much easier to do that. That's actually 
working quite well. Now you don't want to file a blunt side, okay? You want to leave that. You want to file the sharp side and make sure you're going at the angle and taking off the right amount of metal at the right angle. And then you want to do whatever you take off here, you have to take off on this side as well. So it balances the blade out. Uh, otherwise you get an imbalanced blade, but we'll go through it in, in, later on in this video. Let me carry on with this then and see if I can finish it off. Okay, so I've done that side now. And what I did, if you look at the other side, let's get it the right way, okay. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a lot of dings in it. So what I did was, first thing I needed, I did, was to file this down just to get that a little bit straight and get all the, the dings and the dents and the grooves out of it and then what I did was go that way and down that way at the right angle and it seems to have come up pretty good obviously again you don't want to have it razor sharp because if it hits um, if you've got it razor sharp when it hits a stone or a stick It'll put these dents in there. Uh, and obviously it'll blunt the blade much quicker. So you want it sharp, but not like razor knife sharp. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this side now. Make sure I got the right end. That's that there, so this end here. I'm just gonna do this side now, okay? So. Now, I just realized um, that the first part of this video, I didn't flip over the wireless mic and I've been using my phone mic fuming <laughs> now I can't go back and unfile my <laughs> mower blade okay and put it all back together and redo the video so I do apologize if the audio isn't the greatest but it's me being a pleb Duh. anyway <laughs> so I've got it on now so hopefully you're gonna hear me better now we've got to balance the blade now okay because again from what I've looked up it only needs to be a gram out on one side and this is rotating very very fast and it can cause it to go wibbly 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 and, and make it you know wear the motor out make a noise not cut properly so you need to balance them now i bought these um these are these are especially made for balancing listen to that someone's cutting their lawn now they would be over in a second for me to go and sharpen their motor blade their mower blade they can laugh off right um so you've got these things which balance your mower blades. Now, they come in a pack of three. Why on earth do I need three? It's only so they can get their money. If they sold one, it'd only be a pound or two, but it's a fiver for the three. I don't even need them. Maybe they keep them a spare if this breaks. But the problem is, is a lot of these don't fit. It just about fits the blade. It's not the best, okay? So let's see anyway if I can balance it on there. The hole is a little bit too small for it to slot onto the top of that. But you can just about balance it on top. Now, okay, I think it's, hmm, it's about balanced, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try another technique where you put a nail into a piece of wood and then see if it balances on the nail, whether it's just to one side or not, because I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this. It looks like it's balancing there, um, but I'll just double check with the nail method. Okay, so it looks pretty balanced to me, uh, depending on where you move it. Try and get a dead center. looks bang on to me doesn't seem like it's weighing it weighing any more either side beautiful now i can stick it back on mow the lawn and see if it's worked <laughs> okay time to put it back on uh, it's got two little raised parts here which these slot into and they're sort of angled so you can't really go wrong with where you put it in as long as you've got the right in face up so in this particular model it's quite easy now you may notice i've now got my gloves on I should have had them on at the beginning, but I also forgot to do that as well as the mic. I think I may have had maybe just one too many whiskies last night, uh, but it was very nice, <laughs> okay? <laughs> do not hop operate heavy machinery after Jack Daniels. Okay, let's pop that back in there. 
I'm going to be going it that way, so I need to put the piece of wood in here. Hopefully that should stop it there. Okay, so I put my piece of wood in there so I can tighten it up. Oh, that should be enough. Okay, let's go and cut a bit of grass. Now my grass isn't that long, so I don't know whether <laughs> it'll be able to see it or not. But there's a few little tufts where I've planted new seed and it grows higher than the rest of it. So let's go and give them a bit of a cut. I'll give it a bit of a trim, okay? A little bit short back and sides possibly. Going anywhere nice on your holidays? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try it out. a lot better than what I thought it would. It went over the grass like a hot knife through butter. <sighs> Didn't have to go over it three or four times, once straight over, bam, picked up all the grass. So I'm well pleased with that <laughs> result, <laughs> okay. Um, but here's the crux of it really, the caveat. You know, all that potch, taking the thing off, sharpening the blade, buying the balancers, sticking a nail in a fence. When you can get your, your blade, balanced and sharpened at a local hardware store or something for like three to five pound. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They'll do it all for you. Take your mum with there, they'll take it off, they'll sharpen the blade, they'll put it back on, they'll balance it, bam, a couple of quid. So is it worth all the hassle? Well, you know, if you like a bit of DIY, then why not? Um, I suppose in the long term, over the, over 10 years, if you're sharpening every year, you could say you save yourself 30 quid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so, but it worked for me. Uh, really happy with the result. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you don't, don't worry. No stress, no bother, you know. Don't worry about it, okay? Anyway, I'll catch you whew, in the next video.